So Mrs May's had a chat with you from her sofa. She's told you that her deal couldn't get through the House of Commons and now there's a choice. Either we have a deal or we don't leave the European Union. So the plan is she's now talking to that nice Mr Corbyn to try and do a deal that will protect jobs and security and then we'll get Brexit. It all sounds really rather wonderful, doesn't it? What she didn't tell you was that her deal is actually a new European treaty, binding in international law and which we can't leave ever unless the European Union says so. And she's given you a false choice. This is not about whether we leave the European Union or don't leave the European Union. We could have left it on the 29th of March. The legislation was in place. She refused to do so. What we're actually faced with is her treaty with amendments from Labour or extending Article 50, not cancelling Brexit, but extending the date upon which we leave. She doesn't really want to do that because she's scared that on the 23rd of May there'll be European elections and you will deliver your verdict. And you'd be right to, because actually what she wants to sign up to with Mr Corbyn is membership of the customs union, which means we can't set our own tariffs, we can't do our own trade deals, all things that we were promised if we voted to leave in a referendum we would get, and all things that were promised in her own manifesto. Not only is this the most incompetent and worst Prime Minister that I've seen in my lifetime, but she's also the most duplicitous and the most dishonest as well. I'm now leading the Brexit party, and if we have to fight those European elections on May the 23rd, we'll fight them, because it's time we taught them a lesson.